Hello and welcome. So in this tutorial, we will go further ahead in our neural networks in depth playlist. And today we will be implementing this portion. Okay, just forget about the output. We will be implementing a fully connected neural network with with, with a hidden layer one. All right. We will have three inputs and we will have four hidden neurons. Okay, that is one hidden layer, and we will have four outputs for each particular neuron. So okay. So without wasting any time, let's further driving. So in the previous example, we had this code, okay? This was one, this this was for one neuron, the output for one neuron, okay? Now we have multiple neurons, right? We have four neurons, one, two, three, and four, the same number of outputs, the input, sorry, three. All right, the inputs will be same, and let's say this is our uh, N1 weights, that is neuron one weights. Similarly, I'll copy this, okay? So we have four neurons like this. So let's say I'll just change some random values here. Two, five, four, and seven, six, three. Cool. Now we will have four bias, as I explained in your uh, previous video, that for each neuron uh, there is a bias allotted to each neuron. Okay. So n one bias. Um, let's say 1.5 i'll name it as n2 n3 bias 3.5 or 3 n4 bias um 2.5 okay cool so in order to calculate the output for each of the four neurons we will have to multiply and also remember these are the weights values right each connection and ordered each connection is allotted with a weight value okay so the summation of inputs and the summation of the product of inputs and weights will take place and then the addition of bias all right so instead of this just one output we will have four individual output for individual uh, neurons all right so the first output will be inputs of zero into n1 weights of zero plus inputs of 1 into uh, n1 weights of 1 plus inputs of 2 plus n1 weights of 2 all right plus n1 bias oops what? okay so as you can remember in our previous lecture that this was the input bar this was the output for one neuron all right that is input 0 multiplied by this 0.5 into 0 0.4 0 0.78 into 0 0.98 uh, 1.5 into 0 0.15 plus the bias value all right this is the output for one neuron that is the this one output for this one now similarly we will calculate the output for uh, remaining three i'll just copy and paste and we'll, this here will be n2 the n2 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 bus oops uh, actually this should be m4 all right and similarly here n3 uh n3 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 and here will be n4 um all right so this is the output okay now i will just print the output let's say python p1 cool so we got the output for each uh, each neuron okay so this output is 4.114 4.50 6.15 5 5.39 okay so this is the output for each of the neuron so this is a fully connected neural network okay okay so now uh, this is a big uh, manual approach right what if we wrap it inside the forward loops okay we can do that so this is the loop version okay so we will have the same input and the same weights but it will be a list of lists which will be uh let's I'll copy this um, first weight because now we will be using the iteration over the inputs and weights instead of manually writing all this 
all right this is our weights and this is our input and also the biases will be um 1.5 to 3 2.5 1.5 to 3 2.5 all right cool now now the final variable that is the outputs will contain the four individual outputs of four neurons okay like this this one all right now we need to iterate over the number of neurons that is the number of weights okay suppose we have four uh, four uh, neurons in the first layer so we will go over uh, a for loop of four range all right so just uh, remember this that the, the amount of weight we have that is the number of neurons okay for in this case we had four weights right so that means we have four neurons in the next layer okay so we will say for in in range uh, length of weights six and now we'll calculate the output for each head uh, for each neuron okay i'll go through it again like we are iterating through each of these neurons and while iterating each while iterating for each neuron we will calculate the output of current neuron so current neuron output so this is just basic for loops you should know so now we will iterate over the uh, the inputs okay because we need to multiply the inputs into weights okay input one into input weight one input two into weight two and similarly input four into input uh, weight four so for j in range length of inputs we will say we will now calculate the uh, summation of the product of inputs and outputs so current neuron output plus is equal to because we need to keep track of this output and we need to uh, add the sum sum of the products of inputs and weights. So inputs of j into weights of i comma j. So j is so j will go through uh, the three value right zero one and two because we have three values either here all right. So that is why I have taken j over here. Now the final step is to add the bias because remember. We will we calculate the uh, z, val z value, which is summation of inputs and weights, and then we uh, add the bias value. Okay, not while calculating this. So now, adding the bias value will get us this bias of biases. Sorry, i. And finally, we will append our output. Now we can print. Now. Uh, this output and this output should be same right because we just converted this manual thing into this for loop thing okay so let's try okay so there was a mistake all right instead of the multiplication the, uh, i use the addition operation by mistake okay so if we change it to multiply our output will be same okay now if we run it so as you can see both the values are same okay so this was the uh, a fully connected neural network that is how we implement but in the future we won't be using these two for loops because it is really inefficient we will be using what is known as numpy operation okay dot matrix the dot product in the later videos but for now just, uh, just remember this approach also okay so we have finally implemented a fully neural network with four with three inputs and four output neurons okay so that is only in this tutorial and in the next we will go on to the vectorization of this approach okay see you in the next video